Hello, tubers. My good friend Yumi Bang Bang has created a collection of software tools written in Python that make the process of creating a deep voice data set a breeze. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to tell you about them. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Be sure to check the description of this video for any extra details and updates. You should know that if you're running the tools in a Windows environment, you will not be able to build data assets with the Anise option. More about that later. We will be using Python version 3.7. Copy the link from Yumi Bang Bang's GitHub repository and run git clone to install it. If using Windows, install dependencies with the following. If using a Linux distribution such as Ubuntu, install dependencies with the following. Let's start the Python program with this command. We have some options. You can choose your color theme. And scale the font size. Beautiful! Our deep voice data set will need both the clean source audio of a speaker's voice as well as its transcribed text. The source audio can be transcribed in several ways. If our speaker comes from a YouTube video, we can copy the YouTube transcripts. Another free option is Mozilla's Deep Speech. Available on GitHub. Unfortunately, neither of these methods generate punctuation, which is important for our deep voice models, but we can still make use of them. If using an audio book, we can see our its matching text. We can use iFran view to build the images into a PDF file. And then use free OCR to transcribe it. The most accurate method is Google's speech-to-text service. We will need a Google Cloud Platform account. It's a paid service, but new accounts get 90 days and $300 free credit. Now, go to the console. We must create a credentials file for Google. Select the credentials option in the Google dashboard. Then click on Create Credentials and select Service Account. Enter a name and a description. Now add owner to its role. Click Continue and then Done. Click on the new account and select the keys option. We add a new key and then hit create. Our Google key has been saved to our computer, but we are not done. We must update our path environment variable to point to the key. Here is how it is done in Windows. Let's edit the environmental variables. Add a new entry with the name Google Application Credentials and set the path to point to your file. We must create a new project 
for our Google Cloud space. Choose a unique name and hit Create. Now go back to the Google Cloud dashboard and select Storage. We need to create a bucket for our uploaded audio. Give the bucket a unique name and click Create. Let's talk about the first tool, speaker diarization rhization, with Google Speech to Text. If we're using source audio such as from a podcast or interview, we can divide multiple speakers' voices and get their transcribed texts. Enter a name for the project folder. Also, enter the name of the bucket from Google Storage. How many speakers are in the audio? Select the audio file. And then run Google Diarization rhization. We cannot use a VPN as it can cause errors with Google Cloud. Now our file is uploading. The process is completed. We will create our audio cuts and the CSV file by using either Google or Arnis. We can choose a starting index for expanding a dataset. Enter the maximum length of audio cuts. I do advise using the enhanced video model. Now select the audio file and press Run Dataset Builder. The tool will first try to split the audio clips at the point of maximum silence. This will help Google with generating punctuation. The results will be placed in our project folder. These are all the audio cuts. and we can see the CSV file was generated correctly. Excellent. Now, let's try building a dataset with unease. Check this box if our text contains punctuation. Open both the text and audio files. Now run the dataset builder. The cuts and CSV file will be generated in the project folder. How amazing! These tools are cool, but not as cool as me. Now Let's examine some more tools that will help prepare our dataset for training. If we have multiple projects, we can merge them into one single CSV file and WAVE folder. Select the project folders that need to be merged. We can change the output WAVE folder name if needed. Now click on Merge Projects. The results will be generated in the Merge folder. Marvellous! These tools will prepare the text as well as the audio of a dataset for training.
we can re-index a CSV file if the starting index needs to be changed. We need to remove all trailing white space in the text and add a special end character. A training, validation, and WaveGlow CSV file will be needed when training. Click, and they will be generated in the project folder. We must prepare the WAV files as well. We can add compression if necessary. They must be at the correct sampling rate and they must have the right amount of padded silence. The new WAV files will be generated in the processed folder. Now comes our most powerful tool, the ability to proofread and edit our dataset. Please remember to back up your project folder before editing. Open a project C is V file. The first two entries have been displayed below. We can adjust the table columns and scroll through the entries. Notice the keyboard and mouse shortcuts here. They will greatly speed up your work. Let's click on an entry. We can play the entire audio. God help us! What is next? We can left click and drag a box selection over the audio waveform and play the selection. What is next? We can also cut the selection. God help us! We can set the mouse position with a right click and then hit paste selection. What is next? God help us! Now, edit the text. Clicking Save All will overwrite both WAV files on disk and update the text in the table. The table has been updated, but it has not been saved. We must click on the Save CSV file button. Pretty quick. To silence a portion of audio, we can select it and hit the middle mouse button. Also, we can remove an entry completely by clicking this button. Now save the CSV file. A log file will be created when first opening a project. The last entry that was edited is recorded so that work can easily be resumed. We are done. Yahoo! You're probably thinking, come, how can I find more information about deep voice and deep fake models? Well, let me tell you, buddy. Here's what you need to do. Become a Deeper Fakes member of the Control Shift Faces Patreon and gain access to the Discord community. There, you can find guides, pre-trained models, and have your questions answered. Can you guess what I am thinking about right this very moment? It's not neural networks. It's monkeys. Tall monkeys, short monkeys. Monkeys screaming and howling. Monkeys going bananas. Even monkeys plotting revenge. Please, I need to get some rest. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.